Hello, Sun Bonani, and this is your beautiful, your wonderful lady, lady T, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. To all the returning subscribers, thank you for your consistency and thank you for your loyalty and thank you for watching my videos once more because basically, guys, without an audience, then I do not have a channel. And then to all the newbies, I'm giving you three seconds now to subscribe, subscribe, and to subscribe. Let us share the channel. Let us continue spreading the news tell a friend to tell a friend uguti yazin guys there is this new channel there is this new kid on the block and she's saving looks she's saving content she's saving everything so basically this is um the first episode of this new segment that i'm introducing to my channel please leave that comment and tell me uguti what are your thoughts like what are your thoughts should i continue making such videos do not forget to comment below so basically as you know as you know that in my channel i share my life as well as experiences that i've been through so basically i've been having this idea for quite some time you know i've been contemplating on i want to add um the spiritual aspect to my youtube channel and i've been contemplating with what am i going to talk about what am i going to say like basically i was just all over the place i didn't have that specific topic to begin with but then thanks be to god today i finally got an inspiration of something that i would like to share with you guys so hopefully you'll be inspired hopefully you'll be encouraged and most definitely hopefully you will take away something you benefit something from this video so basically as you all know that i keep diaries right so keeping diaries guys this may him so keeping diaries ne? i keep diaries and i usually write down um, my thoughts from time and again but i don't do it um consistently i just do it like whenever i i like that moment when i feel like good i need to record this that is when i actually write something down but then mostly i don't do it so basically yesterday it was yesterday i was going through this specific diary entry going through that specific diary entry it brought back a lot of things it brought back a lot of memories of what i was going through specifically at that particular moment in life so basically as most of you know that in 2017 i matriculated from high school from the previous video that, that i once uploaded on live my gap year. if you want to if you want to watch that video it's an interesting video it's there on my channel it's part of my videos so basically this entry it's an entry that i wrote in 2019 writing this 20 this writing this entry in 2019 2019 the beginning of 2019 um i was working working at this other shop and i wasn't getting much you know i wasn't getting much but i was getting something and i really appreciate my employer i really appreciate the guy because he did a lot and the colleagues that i had they were actually the best colleagues and it was my first work experience so basically besides me working and everything i was going through a lot of emotions remember Uguti, i finished matric in 2017 2018 just like every other young person i wanted to go to varsity but that did not happen i actually applied in in one of the universities in america and i got rejected that was the worst and in the other universities i just did not get a reply just how that's how weird it is and then i finally got hold of university of eastern africa Paraton in kenya i applied i was supposed to go there in 2018 august but due to financial constraints and financial restraints i wasn't able to go so basically i had to work, i had to work in order to to keep myself busy and while is trying to gather up some funds that type that type of a thing right so i i looked for work i started working in 2019 i was also working and then this is an entry right this is an entry that i wrote on the 18th of april 2019 dear diary 20 dear diary 2019 dear diary morning entry this is this is this is what this is what i actually wrote right um some of the some of the contents or some of the things that are here they are a bit personal so i won't be reading out everything i'll just read out the most the most the most important things that i have to that i feel like i need to to share with you guys so basically this is it ne? dear tayar hashtag time flies five months into 2019 what is happening betunana 
joy indeed time is that fleeting moment where the present turns into the past and the future into the present in just a twinkling of an eye yes looking back to the beginning of the year um was concerned as hell wondering uh, how will i survive up until august but a hey, two months left before it's august and i'm wondering that do i still want to go to kenya or i should just apply in sa but a hey, it's always been my dream to study at an sda school and then i'm continuing to write um i started um a the business so basically at this time i was having a business i was selling vegetables right um a the business is doing good no complaints i'm actually getting used to selling vegetables i'm no longer feeling ashamed as before because a i remember the first time i started selling it was a challenge and a serious one for that matter i remember the day as though it was yesterday because a it was terrible anyways now i know that i'm not a failure by selling vegetables life and a comp life and a competition congrats to all my peers who managed to start varsity last year um or this year and nami i will go to varsity so yeah a um that is it h okay um thank you for the good year it's been a good year blah 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 so basically this is the entry that i wrote in 2019 on the 18th of april 2019 let me take you back to what was happening at this point at this point in my life at this point in my life uh, i'd actually um i was actually working and also working i was also selling vegetables so we were staying in this flat and um just around the corner i had a small table whereby i was selling my my green vegetables we call them umrojo in south africa and i was also selling avocados in the morning so basically that's what i was doing at this point in time so when i started selling guys i felt as if i was i felt as if i was a failure i felt embarrassed i looked down on myself because imagine the people that were buying vegetables from me are the same people that used to see me like on a daily basis going to school so in my head i had this mentality to go to all oh, guys what are they going to say they're going to say that i felt in life they're going to say good hey i'm a failure they're going to what are they going to think about me seeing me selling vegetables on the street and as days went by i started getting used to it i remember the first day when i was selling um my egg my my teacher like a teacher from my previous school actually like was coming up well, she was walking down the street where i was selling guys i actually hit my face that's how bad it was i actually hit my face because i just did not want her to see me i just did not want her to see me because i thought like i was going to look like a failure in her eyes would like tabaka you finished matric like 2017 and 2019 you know selling vegetables why did you go to school why did you go to varsity and everything and every day when i log into facebook or look into instagram i'll see my peers um not from my not from um not from like as in from the same school as i went to but my peers as in my age mates um them taking snaps posting on instagram hashtag varsity hashtag varsity days hashtag this and i'll see them glowing guys and in my heart i'm like god i'm such a failure how did i feel to 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 accomplish this and remember 2017 i had those big dreams i had those big dreams of i'm going to go to varsity i'm going to do this i'm going to do that so i never imagined that life would actually turn around and be something else so basically reading through that journal like memories just came back flashing back like a lot of things just came back flashing back i just remembered the moment as if it was yesterday i remembered how bad and the kind of space that i was in and i remembered that i used to comfort myself with this particular verse this particular verse even up to today it's still my favorite verse it's jo it's joshua 1 verse 9 joshua 1 verse 9 it reads have i not commanded you be strong and of good courage be not afraid neither be you dismayed for the lord your god is with you wherever you go i would read this verse and i would ponder on this verse and nothing made sense in that point in time even praying itself it never made sense let alone going to church i would sit down and ask myself what can't god really why do i pray because it seems as if you don't even answer my prayers like why do i even read the bible because it seems as if you just distant from me that's how i felt that's really how i felt at that point in time but always when i read this verse i used to get that assurance my spirit would be it would be would be lifted up and i would get that assurance what god says I am with you wherever you go. Do not be afraid, neither be you neither neither should you be dismayed. 
so basically this is a message that i'm bringing across to wherever to anyone whoever anyone that is going to benefit from this message that do not be afraid neither be you dis neither should you be dismayed of course we get dismayed in life when plans don't go according when life does not go according to our plans we get dismayed in life for instance when you plan Uguti, i want to get married when i'm 30 as a lady you say we want to get married when i'm 30 and then you're looking at yourself like bruh i'm not 38 i'm not even married like what's happening you get dismayed and you start thinking good hi probably god is not answering my prayer or probably you've just graduated from varsity and and you've got it you've got your degree and you all you you know definitely that education is the key to success but it's now two years later you've got that degree but you don't, you don't even have any job you're not even employed and then you get dismayed or probably you, you're just trying to start you've been starting 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 but yet there is nothing coming out you're just failing 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 left right and center i'm here to encourage you that do not be discouraged do not be dismayed for god is with you wherever wherever that you are as much as at this particular point in time it seems as if god is not hearing or answering your prayers but always know that the god that says that my word shall not come back to me empty is the same god that gives us this assurance this is basically a promise that we need to claim do you know when my parents used to promise me that at uh, I will buy you a stock suite. I'll remind them on a daily basis and I will hold on to that promise like treasure because I knew that my parents, my parents, they promised and they fulfilled. So what or what more of God, God our Father, if he has promised us that he's going to be with us wherever that we go, if he has promised us that he's going to give us strength, then why should we be afraid? Why should we be dismayed and think that he is no longer there? So basically, this is my short message to anyone that is losing hope, that do not lose hope, do not be dismayed for God is still with you. For God is still by your side. Even if it does not make sense right now. Vele, it doesn't need to have make sense. It doesn't need to make sense. As long as God is by your side, that is all that matters. Because if you try to connect all the dots by yourself, you will surely fail. And you will feel like a failure. One problem that we have as human beings is that we usually compare our lives with our neighbors, with our peers, with our friends, with our relatives. But such is not life. Everyone is running on their different different pace everyone is running that different lane in life just because your friend has done it it's okay it's their time for it's their time to shine be happy for them your time is also coming even if it takes you 30 years even if it takes you 20 years you just need to hold you just need to hold in there i know that right now it doesn't make sense but once you have received that blessing definitely it will make sense because right now when i'm looking back to 2019 right now it really makes sense why i had to sell vegetables right now it really makes sense why i took that gap year and taking that gap year i went to work after going to work i went to kenya i came back i came back from kenya i didn't have money for for school fees and i had to stay home for another year only because god was preparing me for where he wanted to finally place me imagine if i had just from you just from high school straight up gone to united states of america or just straight up from high school came to europe I don't think I was going to be the Tabaka that I am today. But I am the Tabaka that I am today because of the challenges that I came, that, that I actually endured, because of the lessons that I learned, because every challenge comes with a lesson. So basically, to whoever that is losing hope, just hang in there. God has not forgotten. God actually has a promise for you. And that promise is do not be discouraged. Neither should you be dismayed because it's going to be with you wherever that you come. Thank you for watching my video. And you know what? God loves you and I love you too. Do not forget to subscribe, to share and to like. I will try by all means to... I'll make this a habit of posting um motivational or spiritual videos every like once in a week. Hopefully, by God's grace, I'll be able to attain that. Let us not forget to share the channel, share the video if you enjoyed it. Leave your comment below and have a wonderful day. God loves you all. I'm out of here.